The modern interpretation of the Model 5 has received a whole bunch of awards from various audiophile publications and it became interesting to me whether these acoustics are really as good as they write about it and how they talk about it. In retail, at the moment I'm talking about Europe, this speaker with stands costs about €2,990. That is, this price is comparable to such modern acoustics as the 7th generation monitor audio Cyber 500, Sonus Faber Lumina 5 and Clipsharp E8000F2 which are all in approximately the same price range since I recently listened to both monitor audio Cyber and Sonus Faber and Klipsch 8000, then a little later, I will tell you my opinion on the comparative sound of the Model 5 and modern bollards. The comparison may not actually be very accurate, because we will be comparing bollards that have a bass reflex with closed back speakers that have a classic, old school, vintage box shaped layout. These are completely different concepts in the approach to sound, but, on the other hand, the price range is very similar. And I'm very interested in how the Model 5, in terms of sound, differs from the well-known models of modern acoustics. I love it when acoustics are covered with magnetic grills. Because, the magnetic grill is always easy to remove and easy to put on. Guys, KLH Model 5 acoustics are covered with magnetic grills, which are in turn covered with acoustic linen, acoustically transparent linen. I don't really know how acoustically transparent it is, but it is believed that it is acoustically transparent. Most likely Len makes some kind of correction in the sound, but look how fantastic it looks. It is actually pure linen and you can both see and feel its natural, woven texture. The texture is slightly uneven and the color of this grill is not the pure white of synthetic grills, it is slightly naturally yellowish and grayish. Natural plant color. Linen is stretched on a black plastic frame. The grill is lightweight yet durable. In order to make it convenient for you to remove it from the acoustics, there is a strap at the bottom, pulling which you remove the grill. Guys, I love it. I just love grills on magnetic mounts. Every grill from the vintage, old school, real KLH Model 5 has a legacy, a die-cast KLH monogram badge. The design of acoustics came to us from the distant 50s and distant 60s, when manufacturers still did not know how to make complex shaped speaker systems, as they do now, and therefore most speaker systems had the shape of a simple parallelopiped. But even in the 50s and 60s, 70s, when these simple parallelopipeds were made, the recess for the grills was already being made. And on the modern KLH Model 5, a grill recess on the body is also present. The side and top stacks on this model protrude a little in front of the front panel, and when you put on the grill, you put it on absolutely flush with the speaker system. Acoustic grills from KLH, if I'm not mistaken, in two colors, see the details at the link in the description. In the new model KLH Model 5, the company repeated the main features of its legendary model that was produced in the late 60s and early 70s, but at the same time, it made quite serious changes to the main design. The design of acoustics takes us back to the 50s, 60s, when acoustics were not made narrow and high, like modern acoustics, for example, the so-called columns, acoustics were made in the form of cabinets. Well, firstly, the technical level did not allow making good sounding columns. Secondly, it was much easier and cheaper to produce parallelopipeds in the form of cabinets than to perform acoustics of some complex shapes, and with a reasonable approach, the shape of such parallelopipeds gave quite good sound even in those years. But now, with the acoustics of a classic, so to speak, old school form, using modern speakers, you can get a truly amazing sound, which of course I will tell you about a little later. The acoustics are damn neatly made, they are veneered, superbly polished, perfectly painted. KLH offers three acoustic finishes, in this case dark brown wenge. All details about the finish, 
please see the description. The front panel is simply sanded and painted in radical black. Looks pretty cool. Complete with acoustics, a metal welded stand is supplied, which allows you to tilt the acoustics a little back, by 5 degrees, in order to create a uniform, beautiful and deep sound field. I will tell you about the sound a little later. Acoustics is three-way. On top, there is a 25mm aluminum twitter on a rubber suspension, which is covered by an incredibly small metal grill, bordered by a very beautiful metal ring. Directly below the tweeter is the mid-range speaker. The mid-range speaker is 10cm in diameter, made of paper and has a rubber surround with a backward wave shape. The midrange driver is housed in a separate enclosure inside the large enclosure so that the woofer does not interfere with the midrange driver doing its job, which must be done accurately, accurately and quickly. If the midrange driver is not separated from the base driver by a separate housing, then the pressure that the base driver produces will introduce quite significant distortions into the operation of the midrange driver. The bass driver as well as the mid-range speaker is made of paper, as well as the mid-range speaker, it has a rubber suspension with a backward wave shape. Such a suspension was chosen so that the speaker had a sufficiently large stroke to provide the maximum possible and necessary sound pressure for listening to music. The suspension is quite wide. The speaker moves in the case rather tightly. Therefore, you will have to try hard when choosing an amplifier, because not every amplifier will be able to make this tight speaker move qualitatively. The tight movement of the speaker tells me personally that the bass will be fast, clear, hard and dynamic. This is exactly the bass that I really, really like. But, now I'm talking about my expectations. What will this bass be like? I'll tell you in the section when I talk about sound. All speakers are surrounded by metal rims, it all looks absolutely clear, beautiful in the same style. It is made very accurately, that is, it is immediately clear that this is not handmade, in which there are some flaws, it is made with high quality, at the factory and you can see that the manufacturing and assembly accuracy is very good, corresponding to all modern expectations about the quality of the product. I want to tell you that in no case do not subscribe to the premium hi-fi channel, because 80% of viewers watch the channel without a subscription. On the rear wall of the acoustics, there is practically nothing except a small nameplate in the upper right corner on which the main technical characteristics are written. Also, at the bottom, in the center of the speakers, there is a port for connecting speakers to an amplifier. As it should be in the 608070S, acoustics have only one pair of terminals for connecting to an amplifier. There is no question of any by wiring or by amping. The acoustic terminals are pretty cool. They are solid, massive, able to hold a high quality cable very well. Directly above the speaker terminals, there is a knob with which you can adjust the intensity of the mid and high frequencies. The regulator has three modes, low, medium and high midrange and high frequency speakers. When I started listening to these speakers, the control was set to the middle position. But, after a few minutes of listening, I set the knob to the minimum position, because in my opinion, it was at the minimum position, in the room in which I listened to music, that the sound became the most natural, natural and suitable for my hearing preferences. The regulator on the rear panel is provided so that you can adjust the sound of the acoustics depending on the characteristics of the room in which you are. Acoustics is made on the principle of a closed box. On it, you will not find a phase inverter either in front, or behind, or on the side, or from below, or from above. The acoustic design of the closed box, according to many music lovers, provides the most accurate, high-quality reproduction of the bass range. Because, when making a closed box, there is no additional movement of air behind the speakers, or at the bottom of the speakers, and the bass signal is not distorted. That is, you hear him as he really should be. 
The acoustic design of a closed box has a number of disadvantages. For example, the speaker stroke, due to the fact that the air does not move out and does not come back, is tight enough. Not every amplifier is able to cope with such a tight speaker stroke in order to show and reproduce high quality sound. Also, the disadvantage of a closed box is that, with acoustics of this form, it is quite difficult to reproduce the lowest bass, which is in the range from 20 to about 30 to 40 Hz. For this acoustics, the lower limit starts from 42 Hz, despite the fact that it is quite large, with a fairly large diffuser and ends at 20,000 Hz. Uneven playback, plus or minus 3 decibels. That is, this is a fairly good level of unevenness that is practically not noticeable by ear. But of course trained listeners will hear such unevenness. But if you are just a person who likes to listen to music, then such an unevenness in the region of 3 decibels will not cause you any discomfort. In fact, acoustics reproduces the lower range up to 32 Hz. But, in this case, the unevenness decreases as much as minus 10 decibels, that is, the lowest frequency sounds are heard, in principle, on the verge of audibility, or at a very high volume. That is why, if you like deep, piercing bass, then it is advisable to supplement this speaker system with a subwoofer that will operate at frequencies from 20 to 40 Hz no more. Everything above is reproduced. I'll tell you a little later when I talk about sound. The case of acoustics is made of MDF, about 2 cm thick. If I'm not mistaken, the thickness of the walls of this case is 1.9 cm. The volume of this acoustics is about 50 liters. A high-quality filter with capacitors with metal cores is installed in the acoustics. The filter's crossover frequency is 380 Hz for the woofer and 2858 Hz for the tweeter. In my opinion, the frequency of 2858 for a tweeter is a bit underestimated, most tweeters begin to work well from a frequency of 5000 Hz. In this case, the high-frequency Twitter also reproduces part of the midrange. But judging by the eavesdropping given to Twitter, it doesn't cause any inconvenience. Because, when listening, I did not feel any distortion from the fact that part of the voice range is loaded on Twitter. The sensitivity of acoustics is 90.5 decibels, the resistance is 6 ohms, but it drops to 3.5 ohms at a frequency of 140 Hz. The required power of the amplifier, for this acoustics, according to the manufacturer's recommendation, ranges from 20 to 200 watts. Each column weighs 20 kilograms. This is a fairly dense and well-made speakers. In order to move it back and forth before shooting, to get the most beautiful angles, I had to really work hard because moving 20 kilograms around the room is not an easy task. The original KLH Model 5 acoustics were produced, of course, in America from 1968 to 1977. Acoustics, in fact, became a real legend, because at that time, with the construction of a closed box, these acoustics managed to achieve one of the best sounds in their class. That is why the company sold quite a large number of these acoustics and won all American and even all. In the high fidelity salon, Sesu 33, Riga, I listened to KLH with an integrated, modern Riga Illicit MK5 amplifier. By the way, you can also see a detailed review on Illicit MK5 on the channel. The source was a high quality Cambridge Audio Edge network player. I listened to different compositions, different genres of music. Q specifically listened to music at different volumes in order to understand how acoustics sound at low volumes, how they behave at medium volumes, and how they behave at high volumes. As I said at the beginning of the video, I turned the mid and high frequency control knob to the minimum position, because, in the middle position, it seemed to me that the mid and high frequencies were a little overemphasized. I definitely like the sound of the KLH Model 5. The sound has a very good, 
clear, dense, dynamic texture. You hear the sound of each instrument and the bass is drawn, imprinted so accurately that, in my opinion, it is precisely the advantage of a closed box and a large paper cone that manifests itself here. Despite the fact that the lower bass range is limited to 42 Hz, this did not cause me any inconvenience at all, because, when the volume is increased, these acoustics bomb so that it does not seem small. Interestingly, the Riga Illicit MK5 worked for me at two-thirds of the volume, that is, the volume control was about two hours in some cases when I lit it. And I didn't hear any reduction in texture, any smoothing, any simplification of the piece of music as I turned up the volume. In fact, the room in which I listened even trembled with kicks and I did not feel any lack of the lowest, deepest bass. That is, it is not heard. The mid-frequency, voice range is reproduced very clearly, articulated. It's clear, very audible and yet, since I set the control to minimum, I didn't hear any harshness at all. I didn't hear sibilance, I didn't hear sibilance. That is, the sound of the voice can be called natural. Very upscale, good, high frequencies are reproduced. All plates, volumetric effects, very clear, clear, clean. It is definitely worth noting that the sound is untethered from acoustics, and it simply dissolves into infinity. The acoustics are located literally 50 to 70 centimeters from the wall, and in fact, I expected that I would hear the panorama right behind the acoustics, or between the acoustics. But, when listening, I did not see the wall at all, because the sound picture that formed before my eyes when listening to music completely blurred the wall and left infinity, gradually dissolving into the distance. Perhaps, such an effect is not at all characteristic of acoustic systems in this price range. From listening experience, I can tell you that decoupling sound from acoustic systems and dissolving the scene in infinity is the lot of acoustic systems that cost four to five thousand or more. The guys from KLH managed to achieve this, with much less, let's say, price costs for the listener. The character of the sound can be assessed as neutral. I did not notice the coloration at all, did not notice the inclination towards warmth, did not notice the coldness. I did not notice any character that would rush into my ears. That is, I hear the nature of the sound that the sound engineer or the group has conceived. I hope this is the character that I heard, because in fact, the character of the recording can only be known by the sound engineer who made the recording. We can only speculate whether this is the true nature of the record or not. But, unequivocally, the general character of their sound can be assessed as neutral. At the same time, it cannot be called a monitor one because it has both dynamics and life and some colors that are on the record. I was very impressed with the bass precise assertiveness, which is not achievable with every bass reflex type acoustics. Such an accurate bass is, of course, a great advantage of closed type acoustics. It's also a plus that you don't have to bother too much with choosing where to put it. Even if such acoustics are placed close to the wall, or in some place that is not quite suitable, then most likely it will still sound of high quality, because it does not reproduce any extra bass air and sound waves in different directions. As it happens with phase inverter acoustics. The downside, of course, is that this acoustics does not play below 42 Hz, but really, if I had not read the technical specifications before listening, I would not even have noticed that this acoustics does not have the lowest bass range. It didn't stop me from enjoying the music. I listened to electronic music, dense, dynamic, cool, energetic. I listened to Metallica and it's a real buzz. But, when listening to Metallica, it is important not to go over the volume limit that the amplifier pulls along with your acoustics. If you cross the border of high quality sound, the texture still starts to smooth out. And all the bass yummy that Metallica has, the work of a bass guitarist, paired with a drum kit, 
is smoothed out, and you stop perceiving the piece of music as a whole. You hear guitars, you hear vocals, you hear cymbals, but the bass component becomes some kind of straight line that no longer brings you any joy. In fact, vocal, instrumental compositions sound great. Separate positioning of musicians in space. Dissolving outdoor scene. Guys, this is actually a cool acoustic that looks cool. It's time to tell you how I feel about how the KLH Model 5 sounds, compared to the 7th generation Audio Silver 500 monitor, compared to the Sonus Faber Lumina 5, compared to the Klipsch 8000. Recently, I listened to all these speakers, with pretty good streaming amplifiers and I can tell you for sure, all these speakers sound very good. In my opinion, KLH Model 5 surpasses them in one parameter, the depth and volume of the scene. Purity, clarity, sound dynamics of all these acoustic systems are similar plus or minus. But of course, each speaker system has its own peculiarities, but the KLH Model 5 is the undisputed champion in depth panning. He is the undisputed champion in the amount of drive he can produce. Such panning in depth and decoupling the sound from the speakers, as I already said, it is more typical of acoustics that costs more than 4,000 euros if we take the Spendor A7 which costs 4,200, then in principle, the surround sound that KLH has is more comparable to Spendor A7. Monitor Audio Silver 500, Klipsch and Sonus Faber Lumina do not reproduce this although they also sound great. Clean, clear and play music very cool, distinct. Of course, of course, depending on the amplifier to which you connect them. For example, Sonus Faber Lumina 5 sounds with almost any amplifier and its main feature is that it compensates very well for all the sharpness of the sound reproduction of your bundle, amplifier and player. The Klipsch 8000 has a very crisp, clear, distinct and plastic sound. Monitor Audio Silver is a champion in fidelity and Monitor Audio Silver works great with Primair amplifiers and works great with Naeem Unity Atom amplifier. In conclusion, I want to say that the KLH Model 5 is really cool acoustics in which the sound is untied from the speakers, which reproduce the sound very deeply, dynamically, clearly, it has a neutral sound character and in one parameter they are definitely superior to their competitors, let's say in the price range this is the decoupling of sound from acoustics and the depth of sound reproduction, the depth of the sound stage that you perceive when listening. So, watch the new video to find out everything about high quality sound. Until we meet again.